item and this is a special formal meeting. There is no public comment at this time. We have one item of business that was discussed earlier in our work session meeting that is to reconsider the budget that was adopted last Tuesday and we're only reconsidering a, the general fund portion of the um, of the budget for compensation purposes. Okay, Madam Chair, I can start sharing my screen. Let me know if you are seeing it and if it's big enough. <laughs> Yep, we are seeing Perfect. it. And I'll scroll as you're going down. Great. Council members, um, we do need to start with a motion to reconsider in our new business items. Madam Chair, I move the council reconsider actions from June 15th, including ordinances 26, 27, 28, and 32 of the 2021. Budget. You have to read the rest of it as well, please, James. Okay, 26 is appropriating necessary funds to implement fiscal year 22 memorandum of understanding between Salt Lake City Corp and AFSCME. 27 is appropriating necessary funds to implement fiscal year 2022 memorandum of understanding between Salt Lake City Corp and IFA, the Firefighters Local 81. 28 is appropriating necessary funds to implement fiscal year 22. Memorandum of Understanding between Salt Lake City and SLPA, which is the police, and 32 is approving Salt Lake City fiscal year 22 budget, excluding the schedule for capital projects and debt and the library fund. Second. Council members, I have a motion by uh, Council Member Rogers and a second by Council Member Dugan. I will roll call this. Council Member Dugan. Yes. Yes. Council Member Rogers. Yes. Council Member Wharton. Yes. Yes. Council Member Mano. Yes. yes. Council Member Baldemoros? Presidently, yes. Council Member Ferris? I think that was a yes, and I am a yes. That passes. So we are now reconsidering that, and that moves us to the next motion. And the council would just need to read the part in red. Madam Chair, I move that the council adopt a revised ordinance uh, 32 of 2021, approving Salt Lake City's fiscal year 2021-2022 budget as outlined and revised in the attached key changes spreadsheet and staffing document, excluding the schedule for capital projects and debt uh, and the library fund. Second. I have a motion by council member Wharton and a second by council member Dugan. I will roll call this. Council Member Wharton. Yes. Council Member Dugan. Yes. Council Member Valdemoros. Yes. Council Member Rogers. Yes. Council Member Ferris. Yes. Council Member Mano. Yes. And I am a yes. And that passes. Okay. And then, Madam Chair, the next motion, um, we don't have this all in red, but it probably would make sense to read the um, sub bullets just because they have changed since the work session. Great, thank you. Madam Chair, I move that the council adopt ordinances A through C as shown on the motion sheet relating to the fiscal year 2021 2022 budget. A, appropriating necessary funds to implement for fiscal year 2022 the provisions of the Memorandum of Understanding between Salt Lake City Corporation and the American Federation of State County. Sorry. sorry. Time out. Is that A through C or A through D? E. Sorry, Madam Chair, A through D. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, part A. Um, is appropriating necessary funds to implement for fiscal year 2022 the provisions of the memorandum of understanding between Salt Lake City Corporation and the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, Local 1004, uh, representing eligible employees in city departments to appropriate uh, 
for wage increases, revised ordinance 26 of 2021. B, appropriating necessary funds to implement for fiscal year 2022, the provisions of the memorandum of understanding between Salt Lake City Corporation and the International Association of Firefighters Local 81, representing eligible employees in the fire department to appropriate 1,997,900 and 59 for wage increases, revised ordinance 27 of 2021, and C, appropriating necessary funds to implement for fiscal year 2022, the uh, previous, or sorry, the provisions of the memorandum of understanding between Salt Lake City Corporation and the Salt Lake Police Association representing eligible employees in the police department to appropriate $5,132,766 for wage increases, revised ordinance 28 of 2021. Is there more? Second. No. Second. Second. So I have a motion by Councilmember Wharton and a second by Councilmember Dugan. Is there any discussion on this before I roll call? Yes, Madam Chair, I have some discussion actually. And uh, after being called out by several of my colleagues, because I have been the most vocal in support of public safety. Uh, I just don't like how we got here. I feel like we must, we could have done cuts instead of uh, keeping departments on there. So um, I am fully in support of making sure our public safety, specifically the police department is uh, taken care of and that they are, you know, getting what they deserve because no other police department in the state does what they do. So uh, again, just want to reiterate, I don't like how we've gotten here and we've been funding it with uh, through our fund balance. Um, I'd much rather see cuts done elsewhere, but I am 100% in support of our, our public safety employees. Any other discussion, council members? I would just say that I am reluctant in how all of this came about and a little frustrated, but we are here. I do wanna mention that the contingencies that were put in place during the actual during our regular budget discussions that were adopted on the 15th remain in place at this time. With that, I will do a roll call. Council Member Wharton. Yes. yes. Council Member Rogers. Yes. Council Member Dugan. Yes. Council Member Mano. Yes. Council Member Valdemoros. Yes. yes. Council Member Ferris. Yes. I am a reluctant yes. So that passes. That is all of the business that we have for our formal session. I believe that it, there is nothing else on the agenda. And this council meeting is adjourned unless I missed anything. I don't hear anything. So thank you all council members for taking time and for getting the work done. Mm -hmm.